Laura teams with Spider Gwen in all new Wolverine Annual Issue 1. So in this really fun annual, uh, Laura and Spider Gwen, uh, Gwen Stacy, actually end up swapping bodies. They swap bodies thanks to a villain called Hornet, who is a woman named Melinda, who is kind of trying to get revenge on Logan, uh, that Wolverine, but since she's been disconnected from the world for a long time, she hasn't really figured out that Wolverine is actually dead and there's a new one there and the reason she wants to get revenge is because her uncle was killed by Wolverine and her uncle was the only person who sort of uh, helped her with her abilities of being like really smart and everything and sort of encouraged her to be really smart and sort of fed that hobby of hers of building stuff and everything. So it was really kind of a nice little story and she wasn't really a villain anyway as well. She was just trying to get a little bit of revenge and she ended up swapping these people's bodies and uh, hilarity ensued and yeah this this comic was absolutely hilarious I loved every moment of this comic it was so much fun you know we got from Gabby giving Jonathan the Wolverine a mask to hide his identity to Laura and Gwen swapping bodies Laura in Gwen's body not knowing how to be a drummer in the band the Mary Janes as well as not ha knowing how to use her abilities and everything uh, to Gwen in Laura's body actually popping her claws in her face because she doesn't know how Wolverine's like body and claws work and everything. I thought it was fantastic. Just great story, especially after uh, the grim stuff that's been going on in Civil War and everything. It was great to have a little reprieve and sort of step back and just have a fun story involving all these different characters. And even like Laura, who... Uh, or oh, it was more Gwen in Laura's body could see like some weird like what she thought was spider ham but it was actually someone called Wolver I think it was Wolverhampton or something something really weird that her mind just created Tom Taylor has been doing a fantastic job on this book and even at the end in like the little uh, thing he wrote at the back of the book he says he's been writing it for a year and he still can't believe it and everything and I can't believe it as well it's already been a year that this book has been around and, and like every issue has been fantastic and just a load of fun and I love the, the way that they've sort of structured the book where it's Laura teaming up with people that maybe Wolverine has known or people that she knows and ha that haven't had interactions with her in a while, so like Squirrel Girl and stuff like that. Uh, like Every book has been absolutely fantastic and this is no exception. I'm going to give this book a 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my latest video, I hope you enjoyed it. While you're here, why not check out another one of my reviews, like and subscribe my channel for more reviews and videos, and follow me on Twitter at Matt underscore FOS. Thanks guys, and I will see you all next time.